Susanoo Denpa Shonen was aired on the Nippon TV network in 1998. Till this day, it's known as one of the most evil and inhumane reality shows to ever exist. Tomoaki was a struggling comedian in his 20s desperate for fame, when one day he was selected to take part in an unknown reality show. He decided to take on this challenge, completely unaware of the immense struggle he was about to face. Producers painted the experience as an experiment. They even told Tomoaki that the show may not air. He was tasked with documenting his day to day experiences for them to be reviewed. Just, he had no idea that these videos would be live streamed to the world. The moment he entered the small room, producers took away his clothes, food, and outside communication. Instead of being known by his name, Tomoaki was called Nasubi, the Japanese word for eggplant. Throughout the entirety of the broadcast, an animated eggplant was put on screen to cover his privates for television audience. The tiny room was filled to the brim with magazines, where the goal of the show was to survive by applying to their sweepstakes in the hopes to win prizes until he reached the combined total of 1 million yen, allowing him to exit the room. Over the course of the entire broadcast, Nasubi submitted an average of 1,400 applications a week. Immediately, his biggest challenge was starvation. He would go days without a single meal until he finally won a 5 kilogram bag of rice. But there was no pot for him to cook it in. Nasubi tried eating the grains raw but knew it wouldn't work. Until he figured out a way to use one of the fiber jelly containers he won previously to put on the stove and cook the rice. If it wasn't rice he won, he was eating dog food for an extended amount of time. He did win a can of meat sauce, but couldn't open it without a can opener or a knife. Day in and day out, he would spend his time applying for sweepstakes and answering the phone. Some bigger prizes he won consisted of a couple thousand yen. A stationary bike, a TV that only showed static because he had no antenna and connection, and a toothbrush and toothpaste so he can finally brush three months into the challenge. He never won himself some clothes, aside from a pair of women's underwear that was many sizes too small. So he opted to stay naked. The show was gaining popularity at a rapid pace with over 17 million viewers in Japan. Pranking him by having food delivery men knock on the door with delicious meals that weren't intended for him to mock him and get his hopes up. It became a problem quickly, so producers blindfolded Nasubi and transferred him far from the original location and into a near identical room. And once again, he went back to applying for sweepstakes. After six months, he made over 500,000 yen and submitted close to 40,000 sweepstakes entries. He reached the breaking point. Nasubi began pleading to the camera, saying, Everything around me is literal junk. These prizes are worthless. Descending deeper into madness after months of bad luck, barely winning anything. Producers decided to relocate him once again. Fortunately, This new place brought upon good luck as Nasubi started winning prizes again. He had a tent to sleep in, a PlayStation, 10,000 yen in gift vouchers, and a set of car tires. After spending 335 days alone in a room, live streamed in front of millions, Nasubi finally reached a combined total of 1 million yen. It was over. He completed this grueling challenge and is finally free. Or so he thought. The show became so popular that producers didn't want it to end just yet. They took him to South Korea for a victory vacation, but the catch was that he was now tasked to win enough money to buy a first class flight back home to Japan. Because Nasubi was already accustomed to this lifestyle, he complied and got the money after a couple months. In the final act of malice, once Nasubi flew back to Japan, he was again taken to another tiny room. It looked like the nightmare was going to begin all over again. Nasubi simply began to take off his clothes, and all of a sudden, 
the walls of the room abruptly collapsed, and he was greeted with cheers from a live audience congratulating him on finishing the show. Thoroughly confused as the comedian completed this torturous challenge, yet he had no idea that everything was being broadcasted live for millions to watch.